Hello. We have three stories today, and they're all about family disputes. Asking the folks over on Ada and Am I the Jerk to weigh in. Our first story features a master chef, or rather, a sister who thinks she is one, in a saga of seasoning as sibling rivalries collide. And if you're a frequent listener, I have a request. Please comment and let me know if you like that I've included the result of how Reddit voted on stories at the end. With that out of the way, buckle up, because things are about to get spicy. Story 1 I'm a 28-year-old female and I have an older brother who's 32. He is married to my sister-in-law who's 33. I get along with her well, except for this one point. If you don't keep an eye on her, she will get into the kitchen and add seasonings to whatever is cooking. She thinks she is fixing stuff, but not all foods need turmeric in it. This Saturday, I received 40 pounds of tomatoes. It took me the whole weekend to turn it into a sauce that I was planning to can. I can it plain, then add whatever seasonings and herbs it needs, depending on the recipe. They came to take a bag of spare clothes for one of their kids, and in the five minutes it took me to get it, she managed to get into the kitchen. She added salt, pepper, turmeric, olive oil, garlic powder, and Italian herbs to all five of the pots that were simmering on the stove. And when I asked her what she was doing, she had the audacity to say, this sauce needed some taste. I added it for you. Like I've never told her to not touch what I was cooking before. I was so angry that I knew I couldn't be calm talking with her. So I simply walked to my brother, told him to take the clothes and his wife, and that she is no longer welcome in my house. She had followed me, was shocked, started apologizing, but I just ignored her. I added that he should come by tomorrow to take the sauce his wife ruined, because otherwise it would be thrown away, and that I expected 40 pounds of replacement tomatoes. They left. He came back with the tomatoes, an apology letter from her, and an apology carrot cake, my fave. But I told him that I stand by my decision. Now my parents got involved since I am the one that usually hosts and since she is not allowed in my house. I told them to make alternate plans for Memorial Day. My husband says that I am in the right, but my parents say that my reaction is way overblown. So am I the jerk? Edit. Since there seems to be some confusion, I am not planning to host for Memorial Day and not invite her. I said I am not hosting. My parents or my brother should host and I will attend as a guest. I might be angry, but I don't want her excluded. Reddit voted OP, not the jerk. In the comments, do I want to know said, huh? Like WTF? This is so boundary disrespecting, disrespectful and insulting to what you're cooking. And it wasn't even for her. Not the jerk for being furious. I do think she's learned her lesson though. OP replies, she thinks we don't season enough. But here's the thing. If I'm making Indian or Chinese, I toast the spices and grind them with a mortar and pestle. My Ethiopian friend says that I make spicier food than her mom. But if I'm making mac and cheese, a burger or mashed potatoes, of course I'm only using salt and pepper because usually the flavors are in the sauce or gravy. HP Nerd said, who the heck walks into someone else's house and seasons five different pots? Not the jerk. Hetty said, not the jerk. I'm so glad you discovered that she ruined a day's work before you canned that mess. Who does that? I don't know that I'd invite her back into my house again either. Deep replied, not the jerk. Girl watched Ratatouille and thinks she's Remy now. Definitely not the jerk. Let me tell you, processing 40 pounds of tomatoes is not for the faint of heart. That is hard work work that most people don't do anymore and so the average person might not understand what it takes to make sauce from scratch. Even so, do you walk into someone's house and raid the spice cabinet? No, not if you're normal. Can you imagine if someone walked up to Bob Ross, paintbrush in hand, and just painted over his trees, then commented, hmm, I think you have too many trees. That is no happy accident, my friends. Our second story, on the heels of a whole video of negligent parents assuming other people will watch their kids, without even asking or telling them, we get the shiny jewel of a story of a woman with two daughters and a knack for drama. What is it with stepmoms and horrible sisters-in-law? I often draw the parallel to Cinderella, but this one's just too on the nose that I'm starting to wonder at this point if some people are confusing the fairy tale for an instructional manual. 
Story 2. I've been married to my wife, Beth, for five years. I have a bio daughter named Jessica. She's 18. And I also have two stepdaughters named Monica and Leah. They're 25 and 28. Both are single moms and live with us currently. There's been issues with my stepdaughters asking my daughter to babysit the kids. Jessica didn't have a problem with it at first since this is what she does to earn money. But since her stepsisters don't pay her much, she just refused to babysit. We work this out by having my wife take care of paying for the babysitting. I planned a family vacation for three days and everyone wanted to go. However, both Monica and Leah suggested that Jessica stay home and watch the kids since Beth doesn't want her grandkids to come. What? I don't think I have ever heard of a grandmother that doesn't want to spend time with their grandbabies. Have we entered the twilight zone? They said it's because the kids are used to Jessica and hiring another babysitter would cause issues. They also said that Jessica isn't too fond of our destination, but it was obvious that Jessica wanted to go. They insisted and Beth offered to pay her double. And there was just a lot of back and forth on this till I demanded they stop bringing it up. We were supposed to go last week, but when everybody had bagged their bags and it was time to go, Jessica found out that she didn't have her passport on her. Okay, wait, 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 hold the phone. Maybe they should ask Anastasia and Drizella, sorry, sorry, I mean Monica and Leah, where Jessica's passport is. We searched her bag, then went home and searched there. Beth and my stepdaughters kept insisting that we go back to the airport or else we'd miss our flight. They insisted that Jessica stay at home with the kids. They even told the new babysitter to go home because she was no longer needed. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm sure they did. I refused to go and kept searching for the passport till Monica admitted that she helped Leah hide Jessica's passport to get her to stay home with the kids. <gasps> dun dun dun! I was livid. I tried to get her to tell me where it was, but she said Leah had it. Leah denied, so I threatened to cancel the vacation. That's when they gave it back. I decided to actually cancel the vacation and blew up at both of them and berated them. They stayed upstairs for a while and Beth refused to speak to me. <gasps> the horror. She said that I punish my stepdaughters for worrying about their kids and wanting them to stay with someone they know. I got told I overreacted and ruined the trip for everybody. Um, no, pretty sure they ruined it for themselves by alienating members of the family. Editing to mention that kicking my stepdaughters out isn't possible since my wife co-owns the house that we currently live in. Reddit voted OP, not the jerk. In the comments, interesting bug said, not the jerk. To be honest, I would have kicked your wife and lazy no good stepchildren out right then and there and ended the marriage. If they were 12, I might understand this level of entitlement and immaturity. But in their late 20s? And what's with your wife? She should have roasted them for pulling this BS. Pomegranate Seeds replied, Yeah, there is no way the wife wasn't in on this too. She absolutely knew about this plan. OP needs to ditch all three of them. Raven of my heart said, Not the jerk. You don't just have a stepdaughter's problem. You have a wife problem. I would rethink your current family situation and how your daughter is being treated. OP replied, You're right. After seeing where my wife stands in this, I'm beginning to consider some things. <laughs> Talky Sherlock. I think that even 12 is a bit old for these types of antics. We all know how it feels when you can't find really important government issued documents. Am I right? Or is it just me that hides my passport in a spot where I'll for sure remember it next time? And then, where did I put it again? I actually think it's probably the consistent moving to a good new spot that messes with me. Anywho, definitely not the jerk. Poor OP has some thinking to do. Perhaps he should have gone on the three-day vacation solo with his daughter, Jessica. Our third story follows in lockstep with our last, but has a bit of a twist as it's a little more relatable. One poor man can't catch a break after a lifetime of disastrous vacations settled with his sister's kids. Until he decides to take a stand by getting maliciously compliant with the rules. Story 3 I'm a 23-year-old male and was repeatedly stuck playing the part of helper and babysitter on family outings. I had to move out of my parents' house because I kept being forced to help watch my three nephews. Last year, we took a family vacation in summer to the coast. I rode along with my parents and they paid for my hotel room. Only, 
I had to share that room with three rowdy boys because my sister and her husband wanted a room to themselves. I was promised time to do my own things on the vacation, but instead I ended up having to help with these kids. I complained to everyone about it and was reminded I was there for free. And then we pretty much just did only one thing I wanted to do, which was tour an art gallery. I like doing this whenever I'm on the coast, but the kids find it boring. This year, my parents have a beach trip planned for June, and they assumed I'd be riding along the same way as last year, but I refused. I said I'd be driving myself and paying for my own hotel stay to have my own room. My parents were shocked and tried to remind me of the cost. I said it was no worry. I've got a good job and a decent running car. I can more than afford it. That's when the buts started. I stated the previously listed things as why I'll be driving myself and paying for myself. I want to be able to enjoy this vacation as an adult and not be treated like a child like last year. My parents told my sister and she called to blow up at me that I'll be ruining the vacation if I'm off doing my own thing while she has to wrangle her three boys. Hmm, that sounds like a her problem. I ended up yelling at her that last year all she did was rope me into her mess. I didn't really get to do much of anything I wanted to do. And I was treated like the bad guy for wanting to just go to an art gallery. I'm a grown man. I deserve my own vacation too. Now my sister is not speaking to me and my parents are still trying to convince me to just ride with them to keep the peace. I'm still refusing, but the pressure is getting to me. Am I the jerk for not giving in? I know they'll have a pretty hard time when they won't have another person there to help. Edit. It's barely been an hour since I posted, but my sister is apparently a Reddit lurker in the mornings and she saw my post. Not only is she furious with me, but she's also upset no one in the comments is siding with her. Hmm, I wonder why. The truth hurts. To make it short, she went on a big rant about how it's so hard to be a parent to triplets. And the least I could do is help because I'm young and single and she needs a break. I stood my ground on my decision and now she's calling our parents to get them involved. I'm expecting a call from them any minute. Update. Well, I'm off work now so I can tell more of what went down. I guess you could say it's over. My sister got her parents involved. They looked at my post and were absolutely horrified by the continuous influx of commenters. Yes, they're very angry with me that I posted here, but I told them that if they'd just listened to me to begin with, I'd have never needed to. I'm sick of the whole keep the peace mentality that sacrifices me to placate my sister. They in turn went off on my sister. <laughs> and to make a long story short, the whole vacation has been canceled. The hotel wasn't booked yet anyway, but my parents are arguing with my sister. My sister is blaming me and my nephews are crying because they aren't going to the beach. My sister called me at lunch and basically implied I have no life, which is why I have time to help. I recorded that and told our parents and that's currently what they're fighting about. Small update too. I wasn't gonna update again, but here's a little more. Parents said that they won't ever push babysitting of my nephews on me again and have agreed that what happened last year was unfair to me. Right now, they're very angry with my sister for telling me I should help her because she thinks I have no life. My sister is playing the victim and my brother-in-law is basically saying nope to the whole mess and spending most of his time at work. Hmm, this is telling. Reddit voted OP not the jerk. In the comments, Lowstart said, I'm confused at how she's a married single mom, but not the jerk, not your monkeys, not your circus. OP replied, she's not single, she has a husband, but he works a lot. In response to, my parents told my sister and she called to blow up at me that I'll be ruining the vacation if I'm off doing my own thing while she has to wrangle her three boys. Sam Spade PI said, that's a laugh. She's admitting she's ruining your vacation so as not to ruin her own. They're her kids and her responsibility. Not the jerk. In fact, you're nicer than I would be. I'd just say, no thanks, I've got other plans and avoid the family vacation altogether. Kronk Lasorda said, not the jerk, do not give in. It's time to stand your ground. This internet stranger is proud of you. Holy crackers. Never in the history of Ada has there been such a clear cut case of golden child and scapegoat. And I've seen some doozies.
You know, the way family members treat one another never ceases to amaze me. When someone says you have no life, what they're really saying is I have zero respect for the life decisions you've made. I really don't think it gets more insulting than that. OP is definitely not the jerk. And as they say, a wise man can always be found alone because he minds his own business. OP's sister should take a page out of his book. Oh wait, she doesn't have time because she had triplets. Hmm, sucks to be her. And that's it for today. Until next time, shine bright, Starlight. Yahoo! If you've enjoyed the story and would like to hear more, consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Thanks, and bye for now.